What's up guys, it's Brandon Lama, and today we are talking about the 70 to 200 Sony G Master lens. We're headed out, it snowed, let's go hit the road and I will see you in the mountains. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Brandon Lobman and we are here in beautiful Red Rock Canyon. It just snowed, our shoot got canceled, and we got new merch. So we are coming out here, we're gonna take some photos, do some drone shots of this beautiful landscape, and we're gonna show you how we took these photos for this merch shoot for Heartfelt Productions. Come along for the ride, and I mean, it's a little chilly. We're not used to this out in Vegas, so uh, let's go. We're back in the office and we got some incredible shots and I'm gonna tell you three reasons why I love this lens. So let's get into the first reason. Reason number one guys is with the 70 to 200, you're gonna get a compressed image. So take a couple examples of these photos of my dad. You can see he is crystal sharp in these images and you can see the background is kind of compressed. It really looks kind of like the photo is photoshopped and that's why I love this lens. It just brings your subject to life and it gives you that super smooth bokeh in the background. Number two guys is the sharpness and clarity of the Sony 70-200 G Master lens. This lens, I'm telling you guys, is super sharp, super clear and it doesn't get any better and it's my go-to lens when I'm filming headshots, when I'm doing merchandise shoots, because that lens, it packs a punch, and I believe it's the best lens on the market. Number three, guys, is focal length. This lens is a telephoto lens, and it's perfect if you are traveling and say there's something off in the distance and you can't reach it. This is the lens for you. And when I'm taking photos like this of my dad at Red Rock, I have to stand pretty far back because it's a zoom lens and people you know, always say, why are you standing so far back? Because that's what that lens does. You keep your distance, but it takes amazing photos. And bonus tip is when you're shooting video with the 70 to 200 lens right here, it is great for image stabilization. I'm telling you, when you're shooting B-roll and you have this lens and you're trying to reach a subject that is farther away, there is hardly any shake. I wish I shot video of it, but I'll do that on another video. But image stabilization on this lens is one of the key factors when you're shooting video. And guys, thanks again for tuning in. Hope you found value in this video. And if you liked the video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I will see you on future episodes. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. We're gonna keep on having fun during this journey of the company of Heartfelt Productions and Let's go.